Why is there condensation on the inside of my windows? In the winter, your windows may have moisture on the glass, and it's almost always on the window glass that faces the inside of the house. In the humid summer months, our homes absorb moisture. Then, in the colder months, we usually close our windows and seal off our house from outside air. When the heat's on, your house perspires, creating excess moisture in the air. This is only temporary. After the first few weeks of heating, it should dry out, reducing, if not eliminating, the condensation. Along with this are normal activities which introduce even more moisture into the home. All of this traps humidity or moisture inside the house, resulting in condensation on your windows. Your old windows allowed that humidity to escape and hid the fact that air was allowed to pass through. But your new windows are creating an effective seal against the outside air. The presence of condensation actually means that your new windows are doing their job. There are five things you can try at home to control indoor humidity. First, make sure all sources of ventilation to the outside are functional. Use kitchen, bathroom, and laundry exhaust fans during and after humidity-producing activities to vent excess moisture. Second, air out your home periodically. Opening windows for just a few minutes a day lets the moist air escape and allows fresh, dry air in without compromising your heating. Third, if you have a humidifier, check its settings. Use the humidity comfort levels provided in this table to correctly set and balance the humidity in your home. Fourth, be sure that all louvers in the attic and basement are open and large enough. You can even open your fireplace dampers to allow excess moisture to escape. Fifth, if you have lots of house plants, try to concentrate them in one area and be careful not to overwater. Condensation can create problems in and around your windows. There are many different factors that affect condensation, including the number of windows in your home, what type of heating system you have, the insulation and vapor barrier in your home, and even the type of soil and degree of drainage in the yard surrounding your house. So, if the home-based remedies that we've suggested here don't solve the problem, the next step is to consult with a qualified HVAC contractor.